Good day, redundant rescuers. I'm unsilent and we're on the air with more Mirror's Edge. It's episode number nine, chapter nine of Mirror's Edge. Thanks for tuning in. Last time out, we rescued Kate. Then in a cutscene after the last chapter, they recaptured Kate and they murked Merc. And now we've come here to the shard, which, you know, I was looking at it again as it played that intro and I was like, I get some serious Half-Life 2 Citadel vibes off of this thing. Waiting for ant lions to come and kill me this time. So yeah, oh, more rats. Didn't take long for us to find a rat. Magic rat, I don't know how the hell it fit through there. If it was a cat, you know, okay, fine. Uh, oh. Should I have gone this, no, I shouldn't have gone this way. Oh no, apparently gotta go that way? Oh no, uh, up and around, that was going the right way. Oh, hang on, gotta get a little momentum up. Uh, or not. Hmm. Everything's blue, that's the problem. Gray and blue. Nice colors. I'm trying to think. Anyone rocking gray or blue in F1? Not really, no. Maybe I shouldn't have, uh... I'm three seconds in and I've already lost, Jesus! There's something to not playing games blind. <laughs> okay, now this will... I see a, I see a, I don't know, that didn't work. I was gonna say, I see a, I see a red door down that way, so I know at least the general direction in which we're going, but. We've been at this three seconds and I'm already hopelessly lost, other than there's a red door down there and there's a red swing image there. That I have to get to. So I have some as yet undiscovered direction, except for the part where I know this is the about the only way I can go at the moment. Unless one goes, whoops, nope. That's the problem, is you don't know quite what surfaces are jumpable. And you do some dumb shit like that. Hello, I've broken your game, what are you gonna do about it? Which way was I supposed to go here? Just wall. Okay, that was interesting. Where was I? Yes, we were just gonna wall run that. A little wall run that. Ha! I broke your game. <laughs> I don't even think that was the right way to go. I was just like, okay. If there was no logical reason to do that, except I know where I'm going, so I'm just gonna find the most game breaky way of doing it. Mm, boy, it looks cooler with a boot, darling. Uh, all right. Yeah, I like that thing. Which means there is a secret over here. No, there isn't. All right, back this way. It was worth a shot. I see some sparks happening. It feels like it's just dri again. It's like the same thing I mentioned last time. I don't think it's whoops. Oh. That was, well, that was fortuitous. I was moving my mouse, my mouse pad in my mouse. It's like, I'm getting caught on, on my adding machine. I'm like, okay, hang on. Let's just move some stuff around. It's like, I do have to move some stuff around though. Hang on. No, there. <laughs> As you could tell, because I've lost all control of everything. Let's see if we can. Hmm. Back up a little more. No. Oh, hey, I think. Hang on. One more try. One more try. Oops. No, that wasn't quite what I was going for. Oh, actually. No. But we, maybe we want to hop up onto the box here. Just like you yeah, drew up in the playbook, right? Now I'm assuming. Nope, we're not going that way. Alright. We're gonna go down. 
Roll! Commando roll. Now, I don't like the looks of... Now, here's the problem. You've got that thing sparking. You've got this thing doing a thing. So, sure, why not? Let's, let's, let's rotate the wheel. Now, there was a thing behind me. Oh, balls. That's gonna blow up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Whoa! Okay, let's not take a closer look. Good news, doors open. Uh, bad news, we're not we're not stopping that fire. Whee. Slide down the. Can we slide down the uh, door? Yes, we can. Ha <laughs> ha! I like the inclusion of. Call for backup now. Explosion on level one end. Copy that unit fourteen. Backup on its way. Yeah. Now maybe we'll just. Oh, they've sealed the exits. I got shot. All right. No, I wasn't expecting the guy to burst in through the door there. So, uh, that caught me off guard. Where'd his gun go? We'll shoot him a couple times. Now there was a third one. We might just want to dispose of him. Shit. Chuck the gun. Alright, get the new gun. On second thought. Hmm. Drop the gun. Do that. Get a new gun. Alright. Okay, we're a little pinned down. But we'll be fine. Oh crap. Up, up! Oh no, apparently we can't go up the little step with a gun in hand, so we gotta be careful about that. Which is dumb, but whatever. I, th I only remember clicking once, but... Okay, we'll just find some cover. Chuck it. Kick it. Grab the gun again. It's a good strategy for the moment. We've also got cover here. So we can... Wait for that. What the hell? <laughs> the guy suddenly... Like I put two slugs into the side of the of the the boxes there. It's like well, that didn't happen the last time. We'll shoot him. Jump. Why? Speed. Okay, we used exactly no bolts here. Just, yeah, use cover for a second. Okay, we're in a little trouble here. Oh, come on. Man, you kill him once and you have a strategy that works and all of a sudden, oh, well, because we threw two more guys at you, it's like. All right, we're going to change the strategy here. I have no idea if that's actually doing any damage, but... Move, move, move. 
I think that got him. The problem is, is that you have no idea of knowing if there's... If he's got friends. But I kind of prefer this strategy now, to be honest. Because now we've got ourselves... And where'd they come from? I heard a noise. Oh! No, 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 no. You gotta play on my terms. You gotta play on my terms now, kiddo. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Apparently these guys have just impeccable aim. Just let the, co the color come back in. Okay, no problem. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this in two stages. We're gonna do that. We're gonna come up here. And we're gonna do that. And we got ourselves a machine gun, ho, ho, ho. Would anyone else care to try me right now? I'm gonna swap out weapons. Oh, there you go. If you if you do it just right, you could clamber up there. Now, I presume we want to go in here through the. Okay, no, that is that is an exit there. I was gonna say through the hole they punched in there. No, there's no hole that they punched in. In Oh. Okay. Well. Alright. Van hijacked suspect at large. I assume that's us. Yeah, that was us. So. Oh, and we did it on Hudson Street. New threat to children running. To hell with... Security firm Ferrandello Kruger have been authorized to draft in more units until Kate Connors has been re-secured. It is believed that Connors may have been helped by the missing fugitive from the Robert Pope murder case. More updates on the hour. I was going to say, to hell with your kids' cardio. I, f I believe we found uh, Callahan HQ. Oh. Well, oh, this seems... pretty on the nose. That went poorly. Good work. Checker. I assume Colonel Sanders there's Callahan. Or not. Gonna shoot me too? No. Right now your case best hope. Weren't these your guys? No, they're PKs. Pirandella Kruger. Private security. What's going on, Miller? Hope's murder. Turns out there was a man on the inside. Rope burn? Yes. You were right about him. I tried to get answers myself. But why Kate? They needed a CPF cop to look like Pope's killer. No time to explain more. Take this comms unit and head for the roof. It's where they've taken Kate. I'll contact you when it's safe. I'll hold them off. The roof. Go. Now. Well, that was unexpected. Uh... Okay. Maybe we'll find some cover for a moment. Okay, that was... Okay, that wasn't as slidey as I'd hoped. So we'll give it a second to just kind of regen some health here. Let's make things even better. That's why I'm, I'm, it makes me think. I'm kind of surprised that Trump's slogan for 2020 is let's make America greater again or something like that, you know? Oh, that's not gonna... 
Hang on. Needed some- I needed an angle, is what I needed. I'm shooting straight at him and I still can't shoot him, you know? Doesn't seem like a whole lot of, uh... It doesn't seem like a, uh... There we go. Here we go. Now we're just gonna... We're gonna use the environment to our advantage. There we go, that got him. Actually, hang on, let's keep that. Because what I want to do is I want to... There was the bag over there. I mean, if I, I see the opportunity, I may as well take it, right? It's over here, yes? Because there was the not-so-lambda locator. Yep. Roll. Gun. Go. Oh, I'm caught on, on the scenery. And that gun's still there, so we can swap out for a fresh one. Oh, not just any gun. This killer one. Alright. So we're heading to the roof. Okay. Uh, discretion's the better part of valor sometimes. Now, it said something about the emergency hatch. Chekhov's hatch. All right. Welcome to the Shard. Constructed in 2012 by the renowned architect J.C. Thomas. This monumental building has over 100 floors of both commercial and residential dwellings, including the offices of Mayor Callahan. The Shard boasts some of the most spectacular views of the city. However, we'd like to remind you that photography is not permitted on floors 90 through 110, but souvenir panoramic pictures are available in our gift shop, along with keychains, t-shirts, and a wide range of zero-back snacks and beverages. Drop any weapons you have, stay where you are, and prepare to be taken into custody. Thank you for visiting the Shard. Have a safe and productive day. Well. Faith, are you reading me? I'm in the security room, tracking you on the cameras. Get out of the elevator, they're coming. Oh, that didn't work. What's the point of the thing, then? Okay, well... Let's... what? Well, maybe not. That's a long way to go to die. Okay, so we're gonna... Alright, there. Nope, that was successful. Man, this doesn't seem safe. There we go. Now. Where to... Now. There? No prep. I overshot it, and then si I simultaneously overshot one and undershot the other. Meanwhile, Miller's glitched the hell out, and now we just dropped the last little bit. Screw. It. Let's stick to this place. So we don't get schmucked by a, a rising or lowering lift. Well, yeah, hopefully. Oh, man. Again, you want to get that halfway one, but it's just that is, that is an impossible one to feather. Well, I'm sure it's possible, but still. Let's go. All right. Nope. Down. Down, kiddo. Oh, man.
Now, I'm not like, whoop. It's the alt button brings me back looking this way, which is not quite what I'm going for here. All right. We'll take this down. Oh, that's a balance beam section unexpectedly. Okay, so we want this maintenance ladder here. All right. No, that's... Oh, and we want a shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. There's a way to go there. Don't walk into that. Build up a little momentum. There we go. Cool. Little step down. All right, wall run. <laughs> death, death, and death. All right, I can not do this. Where'd the... Lost... Lost sight of it on the flip. I think it jumped in that direction, and I just lost it, because it... Nope. I thought I had to jump, but apparently it took my jump as jump off of the thing, so... I had to jump to the, um... I thought it, it took... I thought I was going to have to jump to get to the red bar there, and it took it as jump to the next red bar, and nope. nope. Oh, what happened there? That's sort of been one of my problems with this game, is, is like... Wah! You can do something once, and then all of a sudden, it's just like... It, it can be really, really finicky. There we go. Got it that time. Now, there's the... I think we got to build up a hell of a lot of momentum. Alright, there we go. And just center ourselves there. Because we got to make that jump, but we got to make sure we don't fall off. Hmm. I'm thinking run, Q, jump to that. Which way am I going? Okay, I'm going that way. And then we gotta... Q again? There we go. And then, then we just build up a little momentum. Build up a little momentum. And fail. Hmm. Now that's not going to work. Unless we jump back to that and then climb up that and then wall run. That could be it. And then we jump onto that thing in front of us. What? That was close. And then we'll jump up to this thing and then we wall run to... Here. Alright. There. No, that works. Took me a minute, but I figured it out. An interesting little acrobatic puzzle. Important. Uh, unfortunately, it is a little blurry, but it could be in Latin, so that way you don't try to read anything into it. The lawyer's got a hold of it, goddammit. Uh, am I going down? Doesn't look like anywhere up to go. Well, he successfully executed a roll, so I'd say that was probably, that was probably good then. Um. Okay. 
Okay, let me fart. Oops. Oh, up, up. Where is November? How about when is November? I was too young to remember exactly how it started. The authorities said the changes were for the greater good. But good isn't the same as right. I don't think that is as deeply philosophical as you hope. But maybe that's I get to I get to do a little bit of uh I get a little bit of uh what's it called? I do get a little bit of uh, backstory because I uh, did that or something. Now maybe I kick my no I don't kick my way through it. I haul myself up another level. Do that. So it's purely through. Oops. Ouch. Oh, we're going this way. I was a th purely through confusion that I found the final bag. I see you now. There's a sniper team guarding this area. You can get back in on the other side. Be careful, Faith. Well, we've survived this ship before, so... The problem is this looks a hell of a lot more open than I'd like. The Eden Estate. Oh, there. Oh. I was trying to figure out where they were. Oh, there's some. Well, that's not going to work because there's that in the way. Oh, nope. that was a bit more sideways jumpy than I would have liked. I wanted to, to fall off, or to, to go to the left a bit, not... Not completely, like... Ow. I've got shot in midair. Was, I was, didn't think that was a fall, far enough fall to warrant... To, to warrant needing the crouch, but it turns out that I would have been wrong. Now, maybe we want to go down one here. Slide into here, because I can turn around, turn around that way, and then hit the next building. I thought I got the timing down on that, but Okay, maybe not. So basically what you're telling me is I picked the wrong direction. Hmm. That was... Probably worse than it should have been. Oh man, there's a lot of these assholes here. Miller, you've set me up. Can... Well, the good news is... I survived. Bad news is... I'm in trouble. Oh, of course there's a door. There's always a door. Okay. Where? Hmm. Yes, they are sending reinforcements. Where are the reinforcements? 
there's one. There's two. Okay, there's there's him. There's one sniper down. And there's the one over there. Oh, okay. Oh, what the f- I think I can get that last guy from here. Or maybe there's more than one. Hmm. Speed vault going behind there. Got it. That didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped, but hey! Oh, there we go, we got it. We're up, we're up, we're up. Danger, high voltage. I know it's says warning, high voltage, but. Okay, gotta. Hmm. what you're telling me. Is I somehow have to survive a balance beam section? Hmm. No, that didn't work. Can't do a sideways roll. You can't jump to it. There, that works. Press the F to zoom. Maybe, maybe I can. These guys have better aim with assault rifles than I do with a sniper rifle, which makes me question. Oh, that was close. There we go. We got through. In one piece. Yeah, no, I was gonna say if that... I was gonna say they should not have better aim with assault rifles than I have with a sniper rifle, but... Hey. We got through in one piece. It probably might have been one of the tougher sections in the game. There's an elevator ahead. I've managed to unlock it. Take it to the server room. You should be able to get to the top floors and gate from there. We got security cameras all over the city. With night vision, I'm just going to lure it that way, because otherwise they set the they set the camera feeds during the day and the level at night. So I'm just going to give them a benefit on that. Now there's a hatch. Di oh, oh! I should be looking out the back. Neat little match painting. Uh oh. Birds in the air. It looks like the security doors to the roof are closed. Okay. 
If you destroy those servers, their emergency protocol should automatically unlock the doors. I hope. Good luck, Faith. You hope? I assume that- Look around. Surveillance for the whole city right under your nose, Faith. Damn. Sounds like they've taken Kate to the roof. They've got a chopper coming in. You'll have to be quick. What the- Miller? Miller! Oh. Interesting. No, I was going to say, um... Look around. Surveillance for the whole city right under your nose, Faith. Damn. Sounds like they've taken Kate to the roof. They've got a chopper coming in. You'll have to be quick. What the... Well, he ain't going to be in Mirror's Edge 3. Miller! I think I might have jumped the gun. Oh, yeah, no, there's, that was definitely gun jumped on there, on the R. No, I don't give a shit. I wonder if I could just hightail it. Oh, no, you just get shot. That's a problem when you don't actually have a health bar, is you don't actually... Is you don't actually know what the hell is going on. Where am I trying to get to? Okay, maybe we'll just hide. Now he's gonna come around the door, or there! And we're going to, or I guess, come around the corner. We're going to give him... The leg... Leg over DDT thing here. We're gonna shoot him in the head. Now, what do I do? Do I like... Do I have to... Shoot all of them or... Punch, kick at the servers? Hi, can you shoot at me? There, thank you. How about... Apparently, the R button, again, is kind of finicky about how it does things. I don't quite understand the R mechanics myself. Alright, we've baited that guy in. Just make sure he sees us and he knows where we are again. Just wait for his aura to come around the corner. There. I think that was a bullshit, but. Ah, oh, no. I bother. Did I get shot through the. I, I got shot through the... I think I got th shot through the wall there. I think I did. I don't give a shit, Miller. You're boring as all hell. Uh, I do not like this section. This is a dumb section. Miller. Miller. Ah. 
All right, let's again do this this way. Oh, there he is. Hang on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There. There we go. And we'll leg sweep his skull into the ground. Maybe we'll let him come in a bit. Nope. Gotta be careful. Hmm, how do we want to approach this? What in the name of God in heaven? We got no R. There's someone to my right, I know that. No, not that one. That one. Right. Nice and slow. Okay. Back. Reach in. And then think about it. Again. Definitely got some hits on him. Notify him. I think that was a success then. And hopefully, we're good. We can, we're checkpointed on our way through and we don't have to worry about any more bullshit. I think that means I've got my slow mo back. No. I assume this means I've got to abandon my shit. Because we gotta hop the fence. That's a shame. It is clever, because then somebody like me could have shown up with a machine gun. Alright. I have a bad feeling about this. I have a very bad feeling about this. Hello, Faith. Should have known you were on the level. Jack, you couldn't. Attitudes like that. That's a well, that's exactly why I could. Who's behind this? Let's just say I know who the bigger fish are. Callahan. Duh. Why us? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without hope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city will be cut off. Vulnerable. And this city can clean up the last of its dregs. So this is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an ending. Still, you did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. It's why you're still alive. You can't live on the edge all your life, Faith. Sooner or later, you have to jump! Oh. Um. What the f was that? Wait, am I- I'm, I- I assume I'm supposed to jump. Like that. Okay. Okay. No, that's what you're supposed to... Wasn't there a pilot just a second ago? 
This isn't good. Well, that, uh... That was the thing that happened. Um, PK, machine guns, anyone? Oh, now we get a third person cutscene. That was unexpected. No, seriously. Dudes, machine guns, they were shooting at us just a second ago, they're probably still alive. No? Am I the only one concerned? We're still on the top of the big villain's headquarters. Might be worth being concerned about. No. Okay, that one's just me then. I thought it was worth mentioning that we're still in the heart of, of you know. Great. I was okay, and and Finn also Finn. <laughs> That's an ending, I suppose. But yeah, that is uh, Miror's Edge on the books, in the pocket, and out of sight. Uh, it's a short game. If it, I feel like I, I feel like I should be including the Angry Joe meme here. You know, it's like if um, if I was any good at video games, you know, it'd be like four hours. Four hours. Four hours on normal. <laughs> I thought how long to beat said it was twice as long as that, actually. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not so bad. I mean, as we got farther along, it was a little more difficult to figure out where I was going. Combat's a little, yeah, that's, that's the, you know, the good side is, you know, some of that platforming is when it's on, it's on. And it's really good. The problem is the platforming can be a little, you know, there were times where, like, you just couldn't quite figure out what you could or couldn't do based on... I'm trying to think of the right way of doing it. It just felt like there were certain t things you could do something one time and it would you know, work a certain way and then you try it again and it wouldn't work that certain way. I felt with combat there was less of that sort of wonky variability with ha what you did and if there was any sort of, well, variability with what ends up as the result. So... The yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's dice, right? So I mean, the combat, the combat working is fine. Like the gunplay was okay; it wasn't great. The hand-to-hand -hand could have used some work. If we're talking about writers and voice acting, and the voice acting's fine, the writing is, like I said, it's a short game. Sometimes I wonder if the writing fit the gameplay or if the gameplay fit the writing. Because, like, we have nine chapters, right? And it just felt like the whole last chapter... Like, thematically going after Callahan, and we never got to Callahan. So, and we're just kind of left with this ambiguous ending on top of the shard. It felt like, okay, going after Callahan, that's that's the ending, right? We didn't need, and I said this in the last video too, we don't need Kate to be captured again. A brazen terrorist attack at the Shard has left nine people dead and many more injured. According to a Callahan staff member, a security breach led to a series of catastrophic outages in the Shard's many public protection systems, causing havoc not just at the Shard, but throughout the city. The suspects in the act are none other than the former CPF officer and accused murderer Kate Connors and her sister Faith Connors. Although the scope and precise cause of the outages is as yet unclear, many troubling questions have emerged in their wake, including the role of the so-called runners in the destabilization of city operations. In the aftermath of the incident, local security firm Pirandello Kruger will be assisting the CPF. PK and the mayor's office have also recommended mobile phone and email be used sparingly until additional security measures have been deployed, as their security has been temporarily compromised. The whereabouts of both suspects are currently unknown. Okay, so we did all that to rescue Kate. 
And we went after kinda Mayor Callahan and the Shard. And then we're still left on a cliffhanger. Because the ending was really about going after Kate. The well, final chapter was going after Kate. It wasn't about going after Callahan. Which would have been a good... If, if you wanted a self-contained... And I mean, now I'm starting to think... No, is this written more like a series of games? Like, for a sequel? I, the Nervous Edge Catalyst, this, the second game in the franchise. That was a prequel, I think. I think. I could be wrong. It could be an actual sequel. And it came... What, six, eight years after the original? So it left a little bit of a gap so that way, like... Like, this was written, it feels like it was written, with, like, a sequel in mind. Like, okay, we've rescued Kate, which, okay, this is gonna sound negative, but it's fine for a tech demo for a standalone game. Eh, especially with the ending we get. I mean... And, uh, okay, I'm gonna set again. It might sound like I'm back to, to spinning in circles, but I, I I want to get back to like okay, the gameplay, the combat, the hand to hand. I don't like the gunplay is okay. Uh, I really it it's like you're really really fragile, and I get it. It wants you, it does not want you to play as if you're a tank attacking things, but you've got to at least give us more than one like one or two hits. So that way, you know, we could get to cover or we could at least alter our approaches. It just never felt like that was there. So it made combat a chore. And I, okay, I know I'm repeating myself, but the running, the parkour, when it worked the way it was designed and intended to work, it is beautiful. When it doesn't, again, it can be a bit of a chore and navigating your way around Runner's vision is great, but you get to that, like, two-thirds mark in the game, and it kind of... I don't know if it weans you off it so much as it just, like, blinds you to it. Oh, it wasn't a Frostbite game. It was an Unreal game. Okay. Well, that explains... That explains a bit, because I feel like Frostbite is... A little more hardware optimized than Unreal can be at times. Unreal has its moments, this isn't one of it. But, not a bad game. I know a lot of people like it. It's not a great game. I think if I was to go back and play it again, and I never go, and I never really talk about this when, I'm, when I play these games blind, I feel as though I would enjoy it more the second time because I would actually know where I'm going with or without runner's vision. But I would also probably turn down the difficulty to easy, so that way I don't have to deal with the, uh, I don't have to deal with the wonky combat, so. But other than that, you know, it's not a, it's not a great game. I'm not going to, I, I, I know I say, would I put the game on my top 10 all-time list? And, I, and usually I kind of him and ha, it's like it has a chance. This, I don't think it does. I don't think it does. Sorry. It's just this is not the game for me. Not every game can be. Not every game can be. And this just... This really wasn't for me. It's a shame because I like the idea of Mirror's Edge. And this has been one that I've been wanting to play for the last, you know, 12 years. And I finally do. It's maybe my expectations were a lot higher because of the cult classic status of it. So maybe that's... Maybe that's where it just kind of falls short on that for me. Anyway, I think that's a, uh, I think that's, uh, sums up my thoughts on, on Mirror's Edge. And, uh, we will be back again with more classic games on the channel. All you have to do to see what's next. And, uh, I think if you, if you follow me on, on the Twitters or even in the comments, or I think I might mention on Disky as well, is, uh, you know what's next. So you guys can be happy. <laughs> We're sticking first person for a fire. So we'll be back with more classic games next time. But until then, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like the video if you liked. Subscribe if you're new. 
Share on social media, follow on social media, the social media handle is inside the Tawny Aaron. That is for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr. Don't forget, you can check out more Mirror's Edge and other classic games in the playlist there on the screen in the description down below. And more videos in time on the channel page. And until the next time, I'm on silent. Thanks very much for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time.